so I just saw a comment on my comment section about the Andre Ward. He says, oh, you think you too good? I am. I didn't go to jail twice. I opened up two businesses. Black people, stop patting people on the back, man, that's committing crime. They willfully committed two crimes against black people. I willfully opened up businesses to benefit black people and the rest of the world. I'm tired. I'm not, I'm not pacifying people, man. Like I told you, man, my cousins committed egregious crimes. I don't sit at my dinner table and like, hey, tell me a story. I want to be just like you. I hold all my cousins accountable. Everybody in my family will tell you, I hold you accountable. I got a pot of gold for you too. But it ain't on some BS. Yes, I'm better than you. Decisions make you better, right? Just like Kobe versus Eddie Jones. He was better. Do you want a player that at the same size, same height, same weight, averaging 25 points a game or 0.5 points a game? Yeah, that makes them better. Yes, that makes them better. Two brothers that got the same mother and father. One becomes a doctor. One becomes a career criminal. That makes the doctor better. That woman you didn't marry, you stupid nigga. Versus a man who has, that finds a woman and doesn't go on the street and, and, and loses her. That makes him better. God will reward better. God gives us free will. God also rewards great decisions. I'm not patting no grown man on the back. You went to jail twice. I didn't. Do you understand? I put my hand on the stove one time and that's it. I didn't go from selling cable boxes to robbing houses. I didn't go from smoking marijuana to snorting crack. No, no, I need it one time and one time only. I got it. I'm not crying on the internet begging the government. I'm not crying on the internet asking for my woman back. I'm not crying. I'm not crying over child support. You are. I'm not crying over Trump versus Harris. I make points. I'm not crying over it. I didn't cry when Biden won four years ago. You are. You went to jail twice. You respect the man that went to jail twice more than you respect the man that opens up two businesses. That's the definition of an ignorant black man. That's why I am better. And to all the black men that can hear my voice, I'm proud of you that made the right decision. Stop celebrating these black men that make wrong decisions. Stop, stop, stop celebrating them. Welcome home, Big Meeks. Why? Has he changed? You don't know. He just got out yesterday. There has to be physical change, y'all. I'm telling you. I know. I grew up in Harlem, and I grew up in South Central. Everybody comes out of jail. I'm Muslim. I'm a changed man. I got the kufi on. They go have sex with the, with the girl that they last dated. They go to church the first month. But Monday through Saturday, they drinking, they smoking, they selling nickel bags. You know what I mean? They trying to figure out. First, they go to the casino to try and flip money. And then they lose their social security or whatever they get at, at, at the gambling joint, whether it's dice, whether it's black, whether it's blackjack, whether it, whatever it is. And they realize they can't make it doing that. So what they do? Home invasions, rob, rob old ladies, rob old ladies, leaving the grocery store. What am I doing? About to pick up my kids right now. It's 220. I got to go. They just got to the after school program and I got to go. I made my kids will never have will never stay stepdaddy. Never.
you went to jail twice, got you went to jail twice, got two baby mamas. You're, you're failing life. I just, you're failing life. Change your life, man. Change your life. I'm gone.